Yo, I'm 100% sure I filmed an intro to this video, but the footage disappeared. So, um, hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Royal Book of Oz by Ruth Pl Plumley Tompkins Thompson. I can never get her name right. Uh, this is the first of the Oz books that was written after L. Frank Baum's death. It's book number 15. I'm going to go ahead and read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs, and I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. My cat is right here. Look, I'm touching him. Dane reads... Welcome home, sublime and noble ancestor. Welcome, honourable and exalted sir. Upon his return to the cornfield from which Dorothy first rescued him, the Scarecrow decides to follow his pole deep down into the earth and find out more about his family history. But when he discovers the Silver Islands and unearths his royal heritage, will he stay beneath the earth, or can Dorothy persuade him to return to the land of Oz? So I thought this was quite sweet but also sad. This is a note here, the author's note, from Morgie Baum, who was Frank L. Frank Baum's um, widow. And um, she says, let's see. Dear children, you will remember that in the front part of Glinda of Oz, the publishers told you that when Mr. Bourne went away from this world, he left behind some unfinished notes about the Princess Ozma and Dorothy and the jolly people of the wonderful land of Oz. The publishers promised that they would try to put these notes together into a new Oz book for you. Well, here it is, the Royal Book of Oz. I'm sure that Mr. Bourne would be pleased that Ruth Plumley Thompson, who has known and loved the Oz stories ever since she was a little girl, has made this new Oz story, with all the Oz folks in it and true to life. You see, I am Mrs. Bourne, the wife of the Royal Historian of Oz, and so I know how he feels about everything. It's just kind of sad but sweet as well. Interesting, like, how how they address death for the, for the kid. So we start off with Professor Wogglebug. Is that a great idea? Um, and he says he's going to head off and he wants to remind the uh, students to have their history pills while they're gone um, because that's kind of what how, how he teaches people at his institution they take all these pills that give them all this knowledge uh, and it frees up their time to then go and play sports although I still don't understand why they don't just have pills for sports as well we get this you know typical Aussie uh, bit of just whimsical dialogue um, no, one noticed, no one had noticed Professor Wogglebug who had been quietly watching the game I don't like to interrupt the party, he began, approaching Ozma's throne apologetically, but I've just had a most brilliant idea. What, another? murmured the scarecrow, rolling up his eyes. Where did you lose it? asked Jack Pumpkinhead, edging forward anxiously. Lose it? Who said I'd lost it? snapped the professor, glaring at poor Jack. Well, you said you'd had it, and had is the past tense, so... Also, there's some weird layout going on in this as well. It seems to be a constant every time I pick up an Oz book, there's, like cock-ups in the layout and stuff. They meet They meet an ABC serpent uh, who's employed in the nursery of the Mer children to teach them their letters. I thought that was funny. Oh, we got a lot of racism towards Chinese people in this one. So we get lines like this. They looked exactly like the pictures of some Chinamen he had seen in one of Dorothy's picture books back in Oz. But instead of being yellow, their skin was a curious grey and the hair of old and young alike was silver and worn in long, stiff cues. And we get some more of that later on as well. And we get a knight, a hocus of pocus or King of the Pokes, or whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, and he keeps exclaiming, Uds daggers! And I don't know the significance of that. I don't know what that means. Um, and Sir Hocus looks at Dorothy pleadingly, and we all know how I feel about adverbs. So, okay, obviously, <laughs> the his ministers are the Grand Choo Choo, the Chief Chow Chow, and General Mugwump. And wasn't Dumbledore in the Harry Potter books? Wasn't he like the chief mugwump of something? I'm pretty sure he was. I wonder if that's where J.K. Rowling got that from. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know the etymology of the word mugwump. Oh, and then of course, because they're uh, Chinese or based on the Chinese, they eat cats. Yes, not racist. Not at all racist. And the knight, he needs, he needs a, a horse. But he goes, I'll manage famously. This very night I may find me a steed. How? asked the lion with a yawn. If I sleep beneath these trees, I may have a nightmare chuckled Sir Hocus triumphantly. Yes, very good. And there are these people that, that don't really do much. So we, we get this little uh, exchange here. Would you mind telling me why you are all so still and why all your furniture runs around, asked Dorothy, who was growing a little restless. You forget where you are and you're out of turn, but I'll overlook it this once, said the king. Have you ever noticed, little with thee, that furniture lasts longer than people? Why, yes, admitted Dorothy. Well, there you are. King Fixit folded his hands and regarded her complacently. Here we manage things better. We stand still and let the furniture run around and wear itself out. How does it strike you? But obviously this was written before the days of Ikea. Like, for example, a bookcase does not last anywhere near as long as I've lived. Like, I've got through probably 40, 50 bookcases in my ears. Happy holds a finger up warningly, which wound me up. Oh, and then the knight, uh, he, he ejaculates. Singular beast, that. 
and I just enjoy spotting a literary ejaculation. So yeah, all in all, uh, The Royal Book of Oz by Ruth, Plum by Ruth Plumley Thompson. Um, I gave this like 3.5 out of 5. I thought it was okay. It was, you know, fair enough as a continuation of the Oz series. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it also wasn't terrible. It doesn't feel as though the series has jumped the shark yet. So there's also that. Overall, yeah, it was all right. If you've enjoyed the other Oz books, I would recommend picking this up. You might enjoy it. So there we have it. that's what I made of the Royal Book of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.